Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episodes, we have discussed about how to consume a S4 HANA OData service in SAP Analytics Cloud. By far in this series of videos, we have created a live data connection with our OData service, basically a quiet data connection with OData service from S4 HANA. We've analyzed the service and also created a data model. In today's session, we will see how can you configure data model updates and also create a dashboard on the scene. So let's get started where we ended our last session. Please check the description of this video to see the last part of these two videos. I will switch over back to Analytics Cloud. Now here I can select my data source and I can also schedule an automatic import of data. I can say, please keep updating my data from this OData service on daily basis on from this state to this state at this time. So this is an advantage what we can do when it comes to building the data while updating the data. We can also set the dependencies in what cases the the the, the import of the data should happen or not happen. So I can schedule that and I can later on view the schedule uh, job status in our connections tab as well. So having said that let's move to building a story now on top of this data which has been imported in our data model. I will right away switch over to the story and I will create a new canvas page and this is where I can start building a chart right away. I will choose the model which I've created in the next last session. It was stored properly in our proper folder structure. This is all the data which we acquired in analytics cloud from O data service and now we can choose here the pie chart for example and I would like to know what's my total gross sales or my total order count. So let's add a calculated measure to count the number of orders. So I'm going to do an aggregation for counting my order IDs in the system. So this is going to be my count of orders. So we will count the number of orders per order status. So we choose the lifecycle status and you can see we have most of the orders in new state delivered state and also the blocked state. Nice. Next, we wanted to add a table control with all the list of orders. So let's add rows as order ID, order company, order business partner, and we will add also the value of the order. So maybe I don't want the value and I will choose my dimension measures as gross amount and also the tax amount. I click on that and now I can see my orders. So for each order I would like to add a um, add a conditional formatting. Any order which is above uh, less than 5000 show it in the red. Anything between 5000 to 10,000 show it in the yellow and anything about the 10,000 probably go under a bucket of green. So let's add a conditional formatting and we add a threshold for conditional formatting on our gross amount measure. Anything above, let's say 15,000 comes in the green range between 5,000 to 15,000 and anything below 5,000 goes in the red. Click apply, done. And let's apply that same here for more options. Show me the thresholds available there you go nice next step i would like to add company wise total sales so let's go ahead and add another bar chart where i would like to add a horizontal bar chart where i want to show total gross amount and net amount comparison per company so what's the business partner company and there you go so we can just come down move it down and just put the comparison. That's cool. So finally, I would like to also add a little bit of a uh, little bit of drill down analysis. So I would like to click on, let's say, one particular company, and then I wanted to see all all the order status for that company as well as in the table itself. So we can add a linked analysis here, and say, please widget uh, filter based on all the widgets. Uh, based on the data selection on 
filter point. So the moment I select something on some data on my chart, based on that, please apply and propagate the filter to my other controls on the entire page. Click on apply and let's switch over to the view mode and that's our dashboard. So I will choose here a particular company, for example, uh, Asia High Tech. If I click on that, you can see it has filtered 90% of the Asia High Tech orders are uh, new and 10% are delivered. And you can see all the individual orders with their uh, with their colors. Yes, semantic coloring uh, of the data in the table control is getting filtered. So that's an amazing feature when it comes to working with SAP Analytics Cloud drill down analysis as well. I hope you enjoyed this whole series of videos starting creating a connection, creating model and finally creating a story in a dashboard. If you would like to get more free videos like this, feel free to subscribe this channel, share it with your colleagues and you can also join our detailed training on analytics cloud from scratch at anubotrainings.com. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.